What to do, what to do, what to do. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yeah. What to do, what to do, what to do, Half and Jay family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yes. It's your boy, Half. And your girl, Jay. And we back with, with another, another reaction, reaction video. video. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, just got the reactions to something that just blew my mind. Mind blowing. Yeah, it just blew my mind, y'all. I can't, I can't even wrap my head around it right now. So, uh, y'all go check it out y'all selves, oh man. It's uh. I'm seriously side eyeing people. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. I'm side eyeing. It is crazy. Mm -hmm. But we about to get into some more reactions. So, with that being said, ooh, excuse me. Ooh, I didn't get no sleep last night, y'all. So excuse me. Uh, who are we reacting to today? We are reacting to <laughs> Fox News. Shout out Fox News. Shout out to Fox. Jesse Waters. And it's titled, Liberals are finally paying the price for lawlessness. Mm. And you know what, y'all? I just want to throw this out there. Whoever has Spectrum, I know you guys are mad as hell, especially if you're a sports guy like myself. I cannot believe that they took ESPN off of Spectrum? Like, how do you do that, Spectrum? Like, like, how do you take ESPN off of Spectrum? Where are you supposed to watch football games at? How are you supposed to watch my morning ESPN news? Like, what's going on? FX is gone. Uh, National Geographic or Discovery Channel, something like that, is gone. Like, come on, man. Disney, y'all need to get it together, man. Y'all need to go ahead and negotiate that, get it together, bring ESPN back. I would hate to have to drop Spectrum and go somewhere else. But anyway, I had to throw that out there, y'all. I had to vent. I'm mad about that. I couldn't watch my damn ESPN this morning. So, But anyway, I got that off my chest. So let's get into this, man. But before we do, everybody else out there who has not yet subscribed to that Chizano, go ahead and subscribe button. Yes. Take your notifications on. <laughs> yes. Like and share this video. Yes. And comment down below, baby. Come and join the squad, man. Half and J. Yes. Plus, we're kicking, kicking off. off. What? Good, Good vibes, baby. baby. Good, Good vibes. vibes. Boom. Boom. You know what? Show those toenails. Oh, yeah. Nope, nope, okay. nope. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Liberals voted for lawlessness, and unfortunately, they're paying the price. Police arresting one of the suspects behind that viral L.A. flash mob robbery. But get this. She was let loose from jail on similar robbery charges just one day before the brazen heist. Wow. And you can thank radical DA George Gascon's cashless bail policy for that one. What? Chicago also voted for liberal lawlessness. A TV news crew. Cashless bail? Right. So you don't yeah. need, so you, that cash list, that means you don't need no cash, I guess. Right. So you can put a collateral or something, like uh, a car or something like that, maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Chicago also voted for liberal lawlessness. A TV news crew, they just got robbed at gunpoint while literally what? reporting on robberies. There's no footage of it because the crook stole the damn camera. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, the TV crew, though. Got robbed. Right. And no proof. <laughs> wow. No face, no case. Damn. On robberies. There's no footage of it because the crook stole the damn camera. And then there's the capital of America's crime crisis, the San Francisco Bay Area. One of the liberal leaders there becoming a victim of his own neighborhood. While the council member was speaking with shopkeepers about public safety, he got robbed of his wallet and keys. He wasn't shocked. He even joked about it. Quote, what? the thing is, they're not going to get much from it. I want a politician's budget. <laughs> Janine, we've been covering this more and more. <laughs> it's like city council members, TV news crews. The crime is rising from the bottom up, and no one knows where it's going to stop. And it's sad because I was just at the mall yesterday, and uh, I had walked by a little jewelry store, you know, walked in there. Mm -hmm. But before I walked in, they stopped me. And I had to make sure I was by myself and this, that, and the third, and you know what I got in my bag and mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff. I'm like, dang, I ain't never had to go through this before to come look at some jewelry. But come to find out, the jewelry store I was walking into, they had just literally did a smash and grab the day before. 
know what I'm saying? And this was right down the street locally at our local uh, uh, mall. Crazy, man. And me and security are just talking about it, like how it's just, you know, the law is passed and they can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So people literally just walking in, taking stuff, and they and security guard just standing there and can't do nothing. So it's just crazy, man. Wow. It's crazy. Oh, wow. The crime is rising from the bottom up, and no one knows where it's going to stop. Nope. Well, you know, it, it, when Gascon was up for a recall, it failed. Okay, Californians voted for Proposition 47. Now, I want to take you down a little history for a second. Uh, Kamala Harris was the attorney general at the time of Proposition 47. She called it the Safe Neighborhood and Schools Act. What it did is it released felonies to misdemeanors uh, as it related to grand larceny. And if you were a felon already in jail, you could be resentenced to a misdemeanor, okay? So then they passed 57 Proposition, where they called it public safety. Californians voted for that, where they they uh, get you out of jail sooner for a nonviolent felony. What's a nonviolent felony? Rape of an unconscious woman, oh, no. uh, hostage taking, human Wait, trafficking. What did they say? Raping an rape. unconscious woman? Rape. Yeah, rape of an unconscious uncon woman. Yeah. That's. How the hell is that? I didn't even. Whew. What? Yeah. Wait a minute, homie. So. Unconscious? Mm -hmm. And it's a misdemeanor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much old tickets y'all to uh, Outer Space? Mm -hmm. I'm just asking for myself because it's time to go. What? Wow. For that, where they uh, get you out of jail sooner for a nonviolent felony. What's a nonviolent felony? Rape of an unconscious woman, oh, uh, hostage taking, human trafficking. Hostage taking yeah, is nonviolent. It's nonviolent. So, what I'm saying <laughs> is in California, I mean, you've got to dig below the first layer and find out what they're trying to do to you. On the first day in office, Gascon said, I am going to end cash bail. It got, bail is a constitutional right. I mean, it's the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution. And yet, he is a DA literally put an end to it. So here's what we've got to do. In California, everyone's suffering. If you live near the water, your boat's getting robbed. If, you, if you're in a store, your store's getting... And we're all paying for it through insurance, through increased retail uh, costs, as well as paying for security in the stores. If you literally, if you end up robbing a store... And you'll get bailed the same day so that you can then hit another store. So if you're out on bail for uh, theft of one store, they've got to change the law. It should be a quick fix that you can't be out on bail for two separate felonies. That can't, who's against that? Right. Because we're allowing a whole generation to literally rob us blind and turn us into a third world country. Pierce, how do you see it? Uh, I think it's time to go Singapore. Uh, I say as a California resident, I have a home there, it is completely out of control. This kind of impunity, the brazen impunity of these flash mob robbers now, someone called it organized retail crime. I think it's a very good phrase for what you're seeing. They are completely brazen and acting with such impunity because they think there is zero chance of being properly held accountable for what they're doing. And even if they are caught, they'll be let back out and they can do it all over again, as quite a few of this number were, not just that one person. Uh, in Singapore... A person found guilty of robbery of this nature will get a jail term of two to ten years, oh. and they get caned at least six oh, times. Caned. I thought you were going to say they yes. get their hand no, no, they don't, get, they don't get their hand cut off for that. Uh, but if the robbery is committed between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m., in other words, at night time, the offender will get a jail term of three to 14 years and 12 strokes. And if you hurt someone in the process of your robbery in Singapore, you get five to 20 years along with 12 strokes. Mm -hmm. And people will be looking at this going, we couldn't possibly do that in America. Well, why are you letting this happen? Right. Actually, I think a lot of people watch this and go, Singapore sounds like they got this about right, because guess what? The robbery rate in Singapore is 1.3 cases <laughs> per 100,000 population. Nobody does this in Singapore. You know why? Remember they get a whack on the, they they get a whack on the back right, and they get yeah. sent to jail. See, See they trying to, they, they're trying to save the taxpayers' money right. on sending people to jail yeah. for, like they said, non-violent crimes. Mm -hmm. Why are they doing that? Because there's a lot of taxpayers mm -hmm. who's complaining about their tax paying money going towards stuff like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Somebody who wants to order Snickers or something, they got to go to jail. I'm paying for that. I'm paying for their three course meals and they this and that. You know what I mean? Like, that's. And now they're walking in fear. Right. Clutching onto your purse, right. wallet. Right. 
Right, you can't even be in there shopping. You can maybe imagine you in the mall shopping with your. Let's say you shopping with your daughter. You know what I'm saying? You want to buy her like little nice little necklace or some little chain, little charm, or something like that. Little 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year old. And all of a sudden, here come 10, 15 people running to the jewelry store, mask on, smash and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that. That's now that's. Try this in a small town. <laughs> Jason Aldean. Hmm. Where you at? Right. And this way he meant by try this in a small town. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna happen in a small no. town. You won't get very far. A wife. They when get a whack on the they get a whack on the back and they get yeah. sent to jail for years. Yeah. Was, remember when that American kid did it in Singapore oh, and, yes. every, and he was gonna get caned and everybody yes. flipped Went out crazy. and said no but he was vandalizing. He was yeah. breaking the And there rules. was more outrage from a lot of people in America about what happened to him than under Singapore did. law than what you see of yeah. well, no, no, no. We just don't like happening. other countries caning our people. We'll do the caning. <laughs> no, we won't. That's the problem. That is the problem. Yeah, no one's going to do it. I also think this adds into the urban doom loop problem. So there's a commercial real estate problem in mid and large cities in America. And this is coming to your wallet, I think, because they're going to ask for a bailout because the people haven't come back since COVID, and that means not just to the workplace, but also to theater, to events. And so now all of those leases are going to be in trouble. There's going to be a huge credit problem, and they're going to have to come in and ask Congress to help them out, mm-hmm. which means that all of you are going to have to help them out. But one of the main reasons people don't want to come into the city, and I'll, let's not even talk about Chicago, let's talk about Denver. Like Nobody wants to go downtown because th- they had revitalized it. It was fabulous. It was wonderful. And now they even had an event where on they would close off the streets to traffic so that everybody could go down and like enjoy themselves. But they did it last year. All these businesses lost money. Why? Because nobody wants to go because you're stepping over homeless mm-hmm. people and crawling through needles and you're afraid that you're going to get robbed. And if, Denver's not the only one. Like It's happening all over. So right. be prepared. The urban doom loop is coming well, for I your wallet. Well, I hate the street fairs anyway. You do? No, I hate them. <laughs> so here, here's the problem. This is what these people voted for. I yeah. mean, it's not like yes. it was they hit them by mistake. Yeah, they were deceived in the advertising, no doubt about it. Right. Uh, those people that wanted the initiative uh, outspend 15 to 1. I understand that. But at one point, people have to say, my life is destroyed. I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican. I can't go shopping. There's no stores. Uh, the taxes are too high. I don't. My property values are dipping. And this is all self-inflicted wounds. Mm-hmm. You don't even need the severity of another ca- uh, country's culture or crime. Uh, we know how to do this. We've done it before. And now if you factor in Los Angeles, along with the writer's strike and the actor strike, so they're not shooting. They're not. They're not shooting movies. They're not writing movies. They're not taping shows. They're just shooting up. Oh well, yeah, they're <laughs> shooting up, and there's homeless, and there's crime. Why would anyone live there? But I just don't want them to take this fallacious attitude and policies to other places, uh, wow. states like Texas and Florida, right. who won't tolerate it. This is all self-inflicted. This is not hard to correct. And maybe we are about to hit rock bottom and start fixing things. Oh, it feels like we've hit rock bottom for the yeah. last couple of years. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're still waiting. I know. You know, I was just thinking when he said Texas and all that, um, that's a a right to carry state. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Florida. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So imagine that going on out in in those areas. Right. How much violence that's going to turn into. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. You could be inside a store to carry your gun inside of a store. Mm-hmm. Why them thieves are coming in and doing that? You may oh, feel yeah. like your life's in danger. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Uh, like you said, it's, it's self inflicted. Yeah, because they voted for it. Yeah. They voted for it. Mm-hmm. And this what we be saying about, you know, uh, do your research about what you voted for, because you don't know what you voted for. You know, some people just go in there like we did back in the day. Blind. Blind, just. Just Whoever was Democrat, we just voted for right. it. Boom, 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 right. boom, 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 right. boom. Not knowing what it can lead to. Mm-hmm. You know? So, perfect example, man. Do your research before you start voting. Uh, see what the what the actual, uh, what is it called again? The, uh, the, the uh, proposition is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before you start voting for it. So. The world is scary. <laughs> the world is scary. Yeah. Get it right. Yeah. Get it right with God. Get it yeah. right or get left. 
Yeah. You feel me? Get right, right. or get left. Hey. Right. That's the truth. Get left. Left. On the real. <sighs> Anything you want to add? No? No. All right. So we about to get into some shout out. Hope y'all stuck around. Right. Okay. First shout out goes to Shadows. What's up, Shadows? Shadows. What's going on? Shout out to you. Uh, let us know wherever you live at. Are you guys having this issue? Wherever you guys live at, kind of where we're at. Like I said, I know where I was just at yesterday. They had an incident there, and also they had one out there at the uh, Ontario Mills uh, Mall. Really? Yeah, they hit that one twice. And I remember in Redlands. Yep, in Redlands also. So <sighs> it's scary out here, yeah. guys. Second shout out goes to Mr. Law Dog. What's up, Mr. Law Dog? Mr. Law Dog, man, shout out to you. <laughs> Hope you definitely enjoyed that reaction, also. And uh, also, I want to send a prayer out to that family member. I seen somebody had got shot down the street from where we stay at, man, on the uh, baseline Sierra down there. Mm. You know what I mean? So whoever that person was, sending prayers out to you. Yes. You know what I mean? To your family, everything. Hope mm -hmm. everything's good. Mm -hmm. um, the city's going crazy, y'all. Our city is literally going crazy. Mm. We have one of the highest homicide rates, I think, in the country right now. Mm -hmm. You know? It's, it's, it's wicked out here. Yeah. So, you know. Pray for us. Yeah. Yes. We'll catch y'all in the next reaction video, though, man. Yes. Peace. Peace.